Ever since I started posting videos uh, with the 7D, uh, the, the number one question has been about slow motion. So in this video we're going to talk about shooting for slow motion and in another video we'll talk about processing the slow motion. So let's get into the camera settings. Okay, to shoot slow motion on the 7D you've got two different options for, for capturing a higher frame rate. You can either use 1080p 30p or you can use um, 720p 60. Now there's different uh, benefits and, and problems with both of them so let's go over it. So to do that we would change the size of the image to either one of those options. Okay so let's get into the differences. Um, with 1080p 30 uh, you have a, a slightly higher frame rate than 24 frames per second and you'd be able to slow that down and put it into a 24p timeline and be able to have a, a slightly uh, slower footage. With the 720p 60 mode uh, you have a frame rate that's uh, significantly higher than 24p and with that you can process it down into um, even to a 24p video and achieve a much slower video. With the 720p, there is a, a couple issues. Um, because of the way that the 7D down samples from the sensor, uh, when you take the footage, it actually has a lot of artifacts. Um, one of these is, is easily curable, the other one isn't. The artifacts in the 60p mode uh, can mostly be taken care of. You saw that in the other videos that I, I put up, and I'll show a sample of that now but um, there's more aliasing in the 720p mode and there's also a, a color problem uh, that goes along with that. So it's really, really simple to remove that, that color uh, problem that, that goes along with the aliasing. And to do that, you just need to blur the chroma channel on the video. And let me show you a sample of, of how that fixes it. Okay, one of the other major settings that you want to do when you're actually shooting for slow motion in 720p mode is you want to make sure that the shutter speed is 125. Uh, no matter what other settings you use, in order to make the motion look correct and, and match uh, if you want a film look with the slow motion. Um, definitely set the shutter to 125. Shoot the footage at 125 and it uh, it'll give you an effect like the other footage you saw that I've posted in slow motion. The next part of this tutorial shows uh, how to specifically change the frame rate within Sony Vegas and process the frame rate even further out within After Effects.